One kind of fish that's captured my fascination is the triple tail. So what exactly is a triple tail? Triple tail are a pelagic saltwater fish that come to Louisiana during the summer months. They tend to be solitary, and what I find most interesting about them is how they love to lazily float under cover, eating anything living there or swimming by. This makes them easy to see, but they can be very picky eaters. This creates a whole new fishing challenge and, for the last few years, it's one I've been enjoying. Today I'd love to take you on one such triple tail adventure, and where we begin is in the Mississippi Sound on a calm day, with a good incoming tide and plenty of sun. All perfect conditions for fishing triple tail. So the way I like to do this is find a row of crab traps, like this one I'm about to run, and just go straight down it. When you see one of these things, there'll be no doubt in your mind as to what it is you're looking at because it'll look just like a, a big trash bag floating underneath the crab trap. And they'll stay pinned to that crab trap. Even if you get like real close to them, you run the boat right past them, nine times out of 10, they're gonna stay there and you can loop back around and throw a bait at them. God, that might be it, that might be it right there. Got one right there, yes! Yeah, I'm not too sure that this guy's gonna be big enough, but it'll make good, good practice. I think I see him, I'm not sure. Yeah, I see him. God! He drooped me. Very, very, very skittish fish. Dude, just eat it. Stop looking at it. Come on, you little pain in the ass fish. Let's do this. Eat it, eat it. Man, he just looked at it. He's like, nah, I'm good. I'm trying to present it to him in such a way so that it just pops out behind a crab trap and goes right in front of him and, and maybe like get a reaction bite out of him or something. Oh, come on. Seriously, world's most annoying little I'm Try putting a gulp on. That might work a little bit better. I still see him, he's still there. Good. Got him. Boy, I saw you suck that down. You screwed up, buddy. Yes. What a beautiful fish, man. These fish are just so beautiful. Check them out. First triple tail of the day, not a keeper, but you got to see how that process works. Let's do that on repeat and see if we can't catch another one, a big one, preferably. right there. All right, let's get set up nice and pretty on this fish. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's that much bigger, but we're gonna, we're gonna try him out anyway. Got him. Boy, put it right on his nose. It might be 18. I'm gonna net this guy just to be safe. Ooh, yeah, yeah. They're hard fighting fish. They like to jump too, even though this guy hasn't really jumped yet. Bam. <laughs> we did it, again. Is he 18 inches? Let's see here. 
No, he's like a uh, 16 inch fish. Okay, so far, so good. We have a pattern, we're finding them, we're making it, we're, we're making it happen, and that's good. But we need keepers, so let's keep going. Nikes. All right. I barely, I just saw him as he went down. I just saw him as he went down. That was a for sure keeper. Gosh, I hope I didn't spook him. I hope I didn't spook him too bad. Let's see. I'll be patient with this fish. If he went down, I'll wait for him to come back up. That, that was a nice one. All right, so let me see if I just can't orient a little closer to this fish. He was giant, just trash bag looking thing. This is the kind of fish you, you look for when you come out here looking for triple tail. And I just hope he isn't spooked because it looked like he went down, but I'm willing to be patient with him. I'm gonna try to sneak a little closer to him. I see him. Oh, I see him. There he is. Eat, eat. And he came off the crab trap. Hope he goes back to it. There he is. Does he have something sticking out of his side i think he has a tag in his back man when you're doing this you definitely want to be careful that you don't hook the crab trap rope the crab rope whatever for obvious reasons because then you're hung up and there it's really hard to break off your line on that because it gives when you pull on it so you got to make good casts and i'm being super cautious here i'm being very patient with this fish right now just blind casting can't really see in the water that well there's a lot of sheen because the sun's being covered up by by clouds but I figure maybe if, if I just throw the bait at the surface he'll see it and he'll come up I don't know I don't know if he's looking up I don't know if he's looking down or what he's doing but man he, he went down and came back up a lot so I'm hoping he'll just do it again maybe he's just down there picking at something and he'll get tired of it and he'll come back up to the top. I see him, dude, dude, I swear. I, there he is, there he is. Yes, patience, patience, patience pays off. Come on, eat it, you freaking little. Okay, what time is it? All right, this fish is, this fish is gonna get like another five minutes. The world's most annoying triple. And right, I'll give this fish like just a few more minutes. Come on, you stupid f Three more minutes. That's it. All right, this is it. This is the last cast right here. Either this will be it, and I'll be a hero, or it won't be, and I'll just be something lesser. Yeah, and I, I haven't seen this fish in like 15 minutes. I, I give up. Okay, if up until this point in time, it seems like I've been running around like a, a chicken with my head cut off, it's because, uh, that's sort of what I have been doing. I've got I've got three strategies three strategies here, and my first strategy is uh, checking for uh, lines of crab traps and individual crab traps and aids of navigation, you know, like uh, pilings and whatnot. The second strategy is to go after derelict crab traps that I had marked over a period of time in the Mississippi Sound. Uh, I don't think that strategy is really going to work out so well because I mean if you just look in the water around me It's a little rougher. It's more overcast and those Derelict crab traps are like the color of the water and they do a pretty good job of 
not you can't see them so easily right the third strategy is to go into the Biloxi marsh and check oyster reefs like the uh, the same places that i was fishing for speckled trout earlier this summer if you've seen that video you know what i'm talking about those white poles that are used to mark the edges of the oyster lease or whatever it is that they're marking triple tail like those too so i'm going to drop a waypoint and we're going to go to the Biloxi marsh and check oyster leases see you there The sun is shining in the Biloxi Marsh. So we're here. We just need to find a good oyster reef to start running down, start looking for more triple tail. Boom, there's one right there. He did not look, I'll admit that he did not look that big, but it's worth trying. I'll take this off. Did not look that big, but man, there just haven't been a whole lot of them. There just haven't been a whole lot. And after having that tagged fish tell me no, I'm kind of looking forward to having one that will, uh, I'm, I'm just looking forward to get one in the boat. I'm just gonna put this in the category of practice makes perfect. I don't know, I don't really see him. There he is. Eat the bait, you little stinker. Keeps following it, man. And he keeps following it, but he's just not committing to it. Five minutes later. Dude, come on, fish. Maybe he wants it underneath the cork. I don't know. All I can do is try. No, he just now he's just nosing on the cork. Really, dude? Really, man? This is why I don't like throwing corks. That's why I prefer to free line. He's just now he's just following the court. <sighs> this this fish is so miserably annoying. I see you right there, bud. I see you. And he's just swimming around. I don't know. Maybe he can't find his pole right now. There he is, right there. Oh, he's coming to the boat. Oh, this is the world's dumbest triple tail. Okay, well that might be it. Dang it. Right there. He, he, 
he could be big enough, I don't know. Dude, at least we're at least we're seeing him though. Alright. Oh darn, which one was it? I think it was that one. I think it was that one. I think I see him. Oh, I see him. I'm not sure. It's just hard to tell because it's, a, oh, there he is, definitely. Definitely, he's right there. And his back is kind of sticking out the water there. Oh, come on, fish. Dude, would you just eat this thing for the love of God? There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's definitely another throwback but it feels good to catch them. It feels good to locate and catch them. Bam, there we go. No live bait, casting tackle, sight fishing, triple tail, but uh, this guy is just gonna go back in the water and we're gonna keep going. We're gonna find his big brother. Dude, he absolutely, look at this guy. He just choked that down, look at that. Why can't, why can't all the other ones commit to baits like you do, huh? All right, there you go, buddy. Okay, let's keep going. Let's do that again, but with someone, but like with a fish that's like 10 inches longer. I don't do lightning. Right now my goal is just to get back to the ramp in one piece. What we're gonna have to do here is a revenge trip. A revenge trip. 